Konnichiwa. Hi, that's hello in Japanese. My name is Matthew Belmont. Welcome to another trailer action video. Today, we're going to take a look at a live action adaptation of Mr. Osomatsu. Now, you're probably familiar with the anime. If you don't, just look at the previous uh, videos down below here to have you get an understanding about the anime. So, here, those boys who are NEETS, which stands for Not in Education, Education Employment and Training, are going on to some wacky adventure. So, what will it be about? I have no idea. But I heard it's going to be a live action series, but later I discovered it was a movie. I don't know. There was like some sort of miscommunication barrier here with the case of a live action adaptation of Mr. Osomatsu, but I'm curious. How will that work? Well, let's tune in and find out, shall we? Totoko. <laughs> <laughs> so this movie already came out, but uh, this was made by, no, released by Toho Company Limited. The same studio that gave us Godzilla. I I just don't understand it. And uh, they even got Yami there. You know the guy who goes, Shay. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. And bring it to life. This is not an easy task. Look how abstract the characters are. I mean, okay, let's talk about these three new original characters. Period and clothes. And they're all black. And it's hard to imagine it as an anime of some sort. I mean, the original show was for kids from 1988, Osomatsu-kun. But the reboot, Mr. Osomatsu, from 2015, it was catered towards the adult audiences, the teenage audiences. And you can see it exclusively at 2B TV, Pluto TV, and Apple Plus. It's also available in English. Everything has changed and this is how they bring an anime to life properly. And I thought it was going to be as bad as 2004's Ninja Hattori-kun. But they did it right, it was good as Cutie Honey, the movie, by Heide Hideki Anno. Now, this is how you bring an anime to life. This is how you don't bring an anime to life. This is where Cutie Honey succeeds while Ninja Hattori-kun fails. There. And, in fact, here's an idea. Bring the original English voice cast of Mr. Osomatsu. Have that cast and let them dub that uh, film into English. I mean, perfect match. 
right? So, that's a good choice, and I think I can watch it whenever it becomes available on Crunchyroll. I mean, the last time we had a Mr. Osomatsu movie was in 2019, except it was animated. So, this is Matthew B. Lamont saying, don't forget to like, and subscribe, and have a nice day. Shay! Next time, another trailer reaction video to another Mr. Osomatsu movie.